Claudia Gagson. I'm the um, teacher for the medical assisting program here at our school. This is my first year being our health science, one of our health science teachers, and today we went to the Regional Academic Health Center to just expose the kids on how to go about uh, diagnosing what is popular or research article information. Uh, they went through some activities on how to identify research articles, and we also were able to um, speak to Dr. Valdez, which is the assistant dean of instruction for the Regional Academic Health Center, Health Science Center. And she took us through some summer simulations on her Sinman, where the kids were actually able to uh, listen and auscultate with their stethoscopes for, for wheezing on a patient that has asthma. And they also um, were able to go through uh, hearing heart murmurs and flooding of the lungs for a patient that's having some cardiac difficulty. Carter. I'm a librarian at the Mario Iramita Cindy Library here at the Regional Academic Health Center in Harlingen. And uh, our campus is for third and fourth year medical students that spend their first two years in San Antonio and come here for the third and fourth year. Our library is here to serve those students while they're here, as well as our faculty and staff, but also we are open to the community and we really do try to reach out to students that are considering health careers and also just to prepare them to be good uh, searchers and of information and uh, to be good stewards of information as well. Because of that intervention, you don't have chest pain, but... So we um, had given them an assignment and we yes. saw that it was difficult for the students to understand the difference between what was a scholarly uh, commentary or even popular commentary versus what is real research, um, evidence-based research, and not necessarily just research review of information. And so um, we collaborated with Ms. Kathleen Carter and also Ms. Deneen Foltz from our library and we just had a group meeting and we said, look, this is what our kids need. This is a skill that could be useful for them. And they were like, let's do it. So that's how this came about. And I'm, I'm really glad that we had this opportunity.